Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Contemporary Era. Today we'll be talking about the second great building of this era, the Lotus Temple. And for only the second time throughout all of these great building videos do I not have the building in question constructed, which should hopefully tell you something by now. Since we don't normally get to view this page though, let's give it a look. On the left side are all of the nine blueprints required to build the Lotus Temple for the first time. Building it will unlock ten levels automatically, after which you'll need an entire set of blueprints again for each additional level. So for example, after building this for the first time, I would only be able to unlock four more levels since the center right blueprint square only has five total. Notice though that at the bottom, you can trade in two blueprints for one different one, although it usually isn't recommended that you do this since you're not guaranteed of getting the one that you want. The right side shows the amount of each material from whatever age the grave building is from that is also required to build. In the bottom right, it shows how many forge points you'll need to get the building to level 1, or out of the sticks. So let's see why Lotus Temple isn't really for us. First off, the bonuses should look familiar. In fact, they are exactly the same bonuses as the Space Needle, which we agreed also wasn't worth building. Except that while the Space Needle only took up 6x5, Lotus Temple takes up 6x6. Will I ever build it? Probably. At some point, I'd like to have every great building in the game in my city. Will it be worth it? Probably not. That's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And as always, keep on jamming.